Welcome back to my shop. Those of you who've been following along with my Antarja vlog know that I had every intention of finishing this project uh, by Christmas because it was to be a Christmas gift for my wife. I had five days off work prior to Christmas and I fully intended to use those five days to finish this project. On the 19th of December, my first day off, I was in the garage and about 9.30 in the morning I received a call from another family member and we had a family emergency. That family emergency not only took me away from my shop, but it also took me out of the state for about two weeks. I've been back for a couple of weeks now, but I've been playing catch up with responsibilities around the house and at my job. I got an hour or two last weekend to work on uh, my Intarsia project, and I shot a little video then. Uh, and this weekend, I got to spend pretty much the whole day working on the project. I was able to finish shaping all of the pieces and final sand with sandpaper by hand all of the pieces to get the, the project to a state where it's just about ready for finishing. Even though I didn't make my Christmas deadline, and my wife fully understood because of the circumstances, I do plan to continue on and finish this project. I also plan to continue vlogging my progress for those of you who have been following along. Um, so don't worry, you will get to see the end of the project sooner or later, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, but uh, please continue to follow along. I hope you uh, enjoy what you uh, see. And uh, if you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. I'm over at the scroll saw and the first thing I want to do today is this piece that uh, I lost a while back when I was sanding uh, got caught on one of the spindles and flew across the uh, shop and I haven't found it yet. I'm going to go ahead and get that cut out on the scroll saw uh, so that I can begin shaping it again and getting it ready to fit back into the uh, intarsia. In one of my previous videos you might remember that I glued the eyes and the top and the bottom of the owl's head together. Uh, I did this because if you'll notice in the picture, uh, his head is, it, the eyes kind of flow into the center part of the face. Now the beak does stick out a little bit, so that's why that's not glued in. But I was able to sand the head to more of like a football shape and give it a nice smooth uh, feel all the way across. Next up, what I'm going to do is drill a couple of uh, holes for the eyes, and then I'll sand a couple of indentions to kind of make those eyes look like they're set back into his head a little bit pattern called for a couple of quarter inch holes for the eyes uh, so I went ahead and drilled them and you can see that uh, it popped apart on the drill press. Not a problem, I'll give a little more wood glue, I'll glue it back together, give it a little bit of time to dry uh, and then I'll be ready to start uh, insetting the eyes. So we'll just move on to uh, working with another part of the uh, intarsia for now. While the face was drying I went ahead and just kind of laid some pieces together and that's the knot that I had to make a while ago remake because uh, that was a piece I lost. I've got it shaped down and fit into place. I need a little bit of cleanup there but I'll do that with the hand sander. I just got done uh, using the uh, spindle sander to uh, take the edges of these two scarf pieces down. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, change spindles and give them a little bit of a flow. You can kind of see over here in the pattern how they sort of flow a little bit and then the uh, one on the bottom should be below the one on the top. So I've got to uh, work on that and uh, that's what I'll be uh, doing for the next few minutes. Giving the scarf a little bit of uh, a flow effect, kind of a 3D wavy effect. Uh, once I get the wood burner out and burn some of the darker sections into it, I think it'll be more prominent. Um, I'm just going to let this set for a while so that the uh, head of the owl can finish drying and then I'll continue shaping around the scarf you know, to kind of get it uh, I'll actually start gluing it together and shaping so that everything kind of fits and flows. I'm getting pretty close to being done. What I'm working on now is just touch up. Things like this. See how there's a nice sharp corner there? What I want to do is round that down so it sort of sort of flows into the snow. I just want to go through and just keep going through the, 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 the intarsia and looking for anywhere where I can kind of smooth the lines and make them less stark. Um, I got a few odds and ends to do, like I still got to get the uh, owl's nose. I've got to build the snowman's nose. The owl needs a couple of eyes. Uh, but really, today I'm just going to work on softening up the overall uh, intarsia. And uh, then I'll start using some uh, sandpaper by hand just to really fine tune it. I've made quite a bit of progress. Uh, it might be kind of hard to see in the video, but I've got the uh, dips in at the either side of the owl's eyes to kind of make his eyes look like they're set back in his head. It's kind of hard to see right now. I think when I get the pupils in there, it'll look better. Uh, you can kind of see that the tree rounds a little better, uh, sort of flows in with the snow a little bit. Uh, everything is kind of smooth. Uh, I think I'm pretty well ready for some generous hand sanding. I think the power sanding's done and the shaping is done, uh, with the exception of the snowballs, but they're not going to be a big deal. 
Um, you can kind of see I laid the straight edge here to make sure that I kept um, the bottom of this puzzle or this intarsia, I keep calling it a puzzle, straight. And you can see just the, the magnitude of this thing. It's actually about 40, 40 and a half inches long. So it's a pretty decent size uh, door topper. Uh, I'm real happy with it. And uh, like I said, it's time to get out the uh, hand sandpaper and uh, start uh, fine tuning it, getting it ready for some finish. Well, I've been hand sanding for quite a while now. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is hard. Uh, it's very necessary to clean up all the rough edges. You can see the pieces that are laid out here are the ones that I have uh, been hand sanding. They look really good. I mean, look how smooth the snowman is and how it looks like there's actually two snowballs put together there. Um, it's just, it, it's a necessary evil. It takes a long time uh, and you just got to kind of grit, 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 grit your teeth and do it. So I've got the intarsia sanded by hand. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I've got to make a nose for the snowman and eyes for the snowman and for the owl. Uh, but those are the last pieces that I really have to make. I'm working on now is I've got all these snowflakes and you'll see how the snowflakes were cut out three quarter inch wood what I'm doing is rounding them over and cutting them off to shorten them so that they can be placed around the scene and uh, you kind of see the snowflakes around the outside and I don't really want a snowflake to stick out from you know three quarters of an inch so we're just kind of rounding them and trimming them down so I'm going to finish up the snowflakes and uh, we'll take another look at it once I get them all trimmed up well, I finished hand sanding everything. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I also sanded off the snowflakes and uh, shortened them. All that's left for me to do is, of course, the eyeballs and the owl, the eyeballs and the nose for the snowman, and then I've got the background that needs to be cut out. Uh, what I'm going to do is put it away uh, for a couple of days, just kind of cover it up and forget about it, uh, and then when I come back, I'll reassemble it to this point here, and I'll take another close look to make sure everything flows uh, nice and smoothly and everything looks really good um, and then I'll go ahead and make the additional parts and uh, start thinking about putting some finish on it. 